What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I have been monetized for a little over a month now. And I'm sorry it's a burst or bubble, but no. I am not rich, you know, I'm not a YouTube millionaire. The reality of getting monetized is a little bit, I don't want to say underwhelming, but it's not as glamorous and spectacular as, you know, you're going to make it seem. Don't get me wrong, being monetized now feels amazing. You know, to make a video and know that I'm going to get paid for it feels great. Like, oh my God. It took me around three years to get monetized. And let me say, the journey has not been easy. I've definitely had my dark times, you know. There were some nights where I wanted to quit. You know, I didn't I didn't know I was going to make it. You know, I still don't. You know, I still wake up, you know, even like right in this moment. I still think like, yo, is my... Is this worth it? Like, am I doing the right thing? There's a couple different ways you can actually get paid from YouTube. Of course, there's YouTube ads. You also have memberships. So this was a little new to me. But one of you guys actually follow me as a member and I actually got paid for that. So shout out to you, you know who you are. And I realized I don't really push, you know, monetization strategies on my channel. But if you guys do want to become a member, I do have a link below. Um, for now, I really don't, I don't know what it's used for to, okay. I'll, so I'm going to be completely honest and transparent. I have no idea what the membership is for. I don't know what is, you know you can do with it. So if you do subscribe, I don't know what benefits you get. I think you might actually get benefits that I don't know about. So I will have a link down below. This is my AdSense journey. Funny thing is I got monetized towards the end of August. So the way YouTube works is every stat or analytic thing is done two days after you post the video. So let's say today I post this video, any money or impressions or anything that has to do with this video will be calculated two days after it's posted. So basically, I don't even count August. September is where I really started making money. Okay, so looking at it, my highest day in September was $4.23. So I guess I should mention, more views don't mean you're gonna make more money. This was a funny thing to me. I didn't even know this. Every single video you post, you guys probably already know this, but it has a CPM and RPM. Basically, every video has its own level of money making ability if that makes any sense so i've had videos with like 400 or 500 views make more than videos with like a thousand plus views it's insane all because of the cpm rpm so guys if you're out there don't worry about views because honestly a video can have a lot more views and make a lot less than another video depending on a lot of factors like, like i said the cpm rpm but also engagement you know the type of content so many factors so don't worry about views. So in the month of August, I made only $1.45. Now, like I said, I got monetized literally the last week, so I don't even really count that month. In September, my views went up a little bit. I did make a couple good videos, a couple thousand viewed videos, which were nice. $30.85, which was crazy because when I first got monetized, I really expected to only get like 50 cents a day. So the fact that I made like $30 in the month of September is crazy, like what? And that only builds, you know, it only gets bigger and bigger and faster and faster. You know, the more you grow, it's crazy. So I guess I should just throw this in real short. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm playing with words, but shorts. I have made a little bit of money on shorts. Keyword, a little bit. Um, I do have the screenshot here. I made a whopping two cents from shorts. Guys, I might as well drop out of, I already dropped out of college. I might as well, you know, quit my job now and just, you know, peace out, go live over there in the ocean. Cause you know, two, bro, I made a good two cents off shorts. No, okay, I'm bullshitting, but I don't even post shorts. So I'm not even really, I don't really care. That only made me two cents. You know, that's not my main priority. I would say good luck because you do need a lot of fucking views. Sorry to curse, but you do need a lot of views to make any substantial income off of shorts. For a full length video like this, you would only need a 10th of the views for a short to get the same amount of money. That is, that is that insane. So if you're out there trying to make shorts, good luck. You know, I don't do it. I have made a couple of shorts. If I'm gonna throw a little sauce out there, the people that watch shorts typically don't even watch long form. So it's not really worth it to make shorts. Now, if you want to, to get your subscribers up, do it. But another thing, subscribers really don't matter. Now, okay, when I say that, it does matter. Like, of course you wanna grow your subscriber count, but in the terms of making money or a video performing well, your subscriber count really don't matter. It really comes down to your average view duration, click through rate, that type of thing. So stay aware of that because I know a lot of people will chase subscribers thinking it's gonna make them a millionaire. Yo, some people got a million views or a million subscribers and only gets like 10, 10 views, bro. It's actually kind of sad. Bro, why did I wait so long to do this video? It's getting too dark now, fuck. After I got monetized, I did have a couple of videos pop off. You know, they didn't do crazy views, but they did 
go kind of viral for my size channel. You know, they got over a thousand views. Plus, here's my top earning content this pay period, I guess. So I'm gonna give you guys a little gem. Anytime you talk about money, right? It makes way more money on YouTube for some odd reason. So this video that's how I afford to live in Miami at 22 years old, blah, blah, blah. It's basically talking about money. That has made me the most. Now it did get a lot of views. It did get like, a, I think like a thousand views at this point. If that video underperformed, it could probably still make more than like, maybe talking about uh, a story time or something, you know? The month of October, this month. So today is October 3rd, as I said. So technically the month still hasn't even like really started. But I have made a little bit of money um, at the beginning of this month. Um, as you can see here, so I'm gonna just show you. I made $3.58. All of that adds up to a whopping, as you can see, $35.89. Now, as I said, I am not rich. Fuck no. I, with the $35, you, I can't, in Miami, what can I, what am I buying, right? I do know that this is only the beginning. This is where it starts. Now YouTube does have a minimum you like pay threshold where you have to have a hundred dollars so I haven't even really got paid yet so you never know you know I could post a video in the future in a couple days and it can pop off and I'll be back here next month talking about yo guys I made a thousand dollars getting monetized is gonna be a fucking game savior rent is going up my job is just trying to reduce my pay so now I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna have to find a new job because working there is just not sustainable I I don't I, I don't want to have to be stressing about bills, you know. I want a job where I can go to and get the bills paid the way it should be done. So, you know, getting monetized and making some kind of income is nice. Knowing that it's passive income, it's always going up, really does alleviate some worries in the brain. You know, it's me and Jerry here right now, you know. I told Jerry the bad news about me getting my pay deducted and stuff. And I think it comes down to the hurricane, you know, the hurricane made like things slower. so. I don't know, but you know, he wanted to come out here with me because we had to get out of the house. There was no way we were gonna go through that bad news and just sit in the house. But you know, when I get to the point where I'm making like 500 to 1,000 a month from YouTube, that's when it's gonna be nice. You know, a lot of people wanna get rich off YouTube like quickly, and of course I wanna make money. Who doesn't wanna make money? But my goal, honestly, realistically, is to only make like 1,000, maybe 1,500, okay. Okay, if I'm really being honest, 2K, 2K a month where like I can get bills paid um, and you know I'm still working a job of course at that point but the job is really just like extra income I'm not using it to I don't know work I don't know it's kind of just like extra play money if that makes any kind of sense but um, I do I don't know it's kind of getting late um, I wanted to give you guys this quick little update on my monetization journey because I know a lot of people like to talk about YouTube money and the what, how, and how it's done. Maybe I should talk about how, okay, so before I end the video, let's talk about how YouTube monetization works because I feel like a lot of people kind of think they know, but they don't really know. I think back then when it first came out, you literally, you get paid day one, but over the years it has changed. So it changed to a point where you have to get to a thousand subscribers and have 4,000 watch hours. That is still like the case. You still have to have that, but YouTube has added another one where you only have to have 500 subscribers and 3K watch hours, which allows you to get into the program but you don't get paid from YouTube ads. You only get paid from memberships and like stickers or some other thing. I didn't really indulge in it, so I don't really know for sure, but I do know you get that. But the cool part is whenever you do get to a thousand subscribers and 4K watch hours, and you get the big YouTube monetization where you get paid for ads, you don't have to wait. So before, whenever you try to get monetized, you have to apply whenever you get the, like I said, 1K watch hours, or you get the 1K subs and the 4K watch hours. And then you would have to wait like a week, sometimes a month or two for YouTube to accept you. But now you do all that months prior and the minute you get, you know, monetized, you can get paid, which is really nice. I'm only saying this from what other people have said, but I do feel like YouTube pays a lot less now. Um, I feel like the ads itself just pay less. I don't know why, maybe it's just the economy is doomed out of existence, but, um, I haven't really got brand deals like that yet, so like, I don't know. Maybe when I get to like 10K and higher, you know, brand deals will start reaching out and I can really see how the money is looking like. I'm sorry, I hate to talk about, I hate talking about money. I don't know, I don't wanna be one of those YouTubers that's always talking about cash and guys, go pay for this. Like, I hate, I hate YouTubers like that. Like, bro, just be on the camera, be a, be, be a guy, be a, be a normal human being, I don't get it. There you guys have it, you have seen my YouTube first month I guess you know it wasn't a lot you know I you know 
I'm not rich, you know. I I kind of expected this, you know. You kind of have to doing the journey like this. You kind of have to be realistic a little bit. Like, of course, be a little delusional. Like, okay, video flop, but I'm still gonna be number one one day. Fuck, you gonna fucking see it. You still have to have a little delusion. When I got monetized, I kind of knew that I wasn't gonna be this new sensation immediately. Like, I kind of accepted that fact. But it is nice to be here. Um, this nice Thursday night. Um, but. With that being said, guys, I'm about to see you guys in the next video. Um, I'm just, I don't know, I'm, I feel so creative lately. Speaking of being creative, I was in a very creative rut. We're going to talk about that probably next video. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Um, bye.